friends, hello, hi, how are you? I hope you guys are having an amazing day today. So, this video is actually one that I am very, very excited about. You can tell. <laughs> I've got my school pride. Um, this video is actually a video that my college, the college at Brockport, it is a SUNY school, asked me to make for them. I am so excited, literally so excited. I love Brockport. It holds a very special place in my heart. I'm currently a senior social work student and this is so cool that I get to work with them and collaborate them and make a video for their social media. So hi. So today we are going to be doing a homecoming makeup inspired look. Uh, so that's why I have this little temporary tattoo. It's the little golden eagle which is the school's mascot and I'm just gonna zoom you guys in and show you a very simple and very basic green and gold tutorial that I think would look really really cute for homecoming weekend or just any like school event I think this would be perfect and I also think this is a good tutorial if you go to any SUNY school or any school any college in general you could just swap out the colors for your school colors and then you could make a really cool look so I'm gonna zoom you guys in and then we will get started on the tutorial hello um so they actually gave me two of these little tattoos and I screwed up the first one <laughs> so the second one went much better so if you're gonna do a tattoo have backups first tip so I'm First, just going to take a fluffy blending brush and just go into a white, the white shade that is in my palette. This is the Midas Cosmetics La Dolce Vita palette. And I'm just kind of patting this all over my entire eye just to give me a little bit of a clean base. So Brockport's homecoming weekend is happening. The dates of the weekend are September 26th to the 28th and there's like a bunch of stuff happening. The main events are on the 28th and that is like a parade, a festival, and a football game. There's like a ton of cool stuff happening. I'm just gonna go in with this really light yellow shade. Um, it's not a gold, but I think when we mix it in with the green, it's going to look really similar to how the little eagle looks here. We are going to do a gold, but I think mixing the yellow and the green and kind of blending them together could actually be really fun. So yeah, this is the look I think I'm probably going to end up wearing to the homecoming events. I'm definitely going to the little festival thing in the parade. I really like participating in Brockport school activities, mostly because they do actually kind of make it worth your while. I feel like sometimes school activities, people think they're like going to be lame but they're really Brockport does a good job of making it fun for everyone there they do a nice job of making it like a fun welcoming experience which I really appreciate and I think it's fun too because of where Brockport is located it is located in like a really small town it actually is more of instead of just like a college event it's kind of a community event you get people from all over the community instead of just just college kids and it's a really good way to connect and just like show some school spirit um I'm gonna go in with this shade Palin is a bright green and we we're just going to mix that slightly under the yellow and just kind of blend the two together. I really just want that yellow peeking out at the top. I think that'll look best. As far as like dress code for the event, um, I pretty much feel like it's best to just wear like Brockport stuff. Like I have this little crew neck from Brockport. Oh, my hair's blocking. <laughs> I have this crew neck from Brockport. That's probably my favorite thing that I got from the bookstore there. Like, I love the Brockport apparel stuff. I try to buy something new every semester just so I have, like, a little memory from each semester with apparel. This semester I bought some sweatpants. They were awesome. Um, and another cool thing is that my boyfriend, Charles, is actually also a graduate from Brockport. Um, he got his master's degree in teaching there, and he also did his undergrad at Brockport. <laughs> we're both <laughs> very proud Brockport students, and so we're both really excited to go and just hang out see the community like be a part of something it's definitely going to be a lot of fun and if I know there are some people from Brockport that know about my channel and so if you guys like see me there say hi because I would love to talk to you guys and see you and say hello I think it's very cool that I'm very blessed in the sense that I get to do social media while also being able to go to college and get my degree which is really important to me I'm gonna go in with this deeper green shade right here and I'm going to pack that more on the like outer corner of this that's like the Brockport green I feel like overall I feel like Brockport has been such an amazing it's just been such an amazing thing for me I feel like before I try I'm kind of an unconventional student because I did go, I went to college when I was 18 and I just like wasn't ready and I kind of messed up and I had to go to community college and get my grades up for a couple of years and when I did get my grades up and it came time to applying to a school I knew I wanted to go to Brockport. Uh, number one my boyfriend went there and he had nothing but positive 
of things to say about it. And also for the field that I am going into, which is social work, they have one of the best programs. Um, it was kind of a no brainer for me. And since being at Brockport, this is going to be my, this is my fourth semester at Brockport this year. Um, and I can say that every professor I've had, whether it be like a full-time head of the department or like an adjunct professor has been absolutely phenomenal and has impacted my life in some way and has helped me learn either something about myself, something about the program, like every single professor I've had has been fantastic. And I feel like you can't say that about a lot of schools. I'm going to go into this little tart chrome paint. It's a, like a really beautiful gold color, but I think if you just have a gold eyeshadow, that would also suffice. I just love this because it's very pigmented. And I'm going to pack that onto my eye and kind of blend it. And I'm just using my finger because it's so much easier and just kind of blending it in with the green. And then we got a fun little green and gold look that literally took like 10 minutes. <laughs> but yeah, every single professor I've had, the program itself has been just phenomenal. The school has always been willing to work with me and help me due to like my unconventional past. I, they've always been willing to work and help me. And my boyfriend has been going to Brockport since he was 18 and he's had a similar experience to me. Being more of a conventional student, he's always had a fantastic experience at Brockport as well. I actually am planning on attending my master's program, my social work master's, at Brockport as well. Like, how many times have I said Brockport in this video? <laughs> Getting my master's degree through Brockport as well. Um, when I was kind of like picking and trying to decide my master's degree, I'm gonna go in with that light green again and just take a little pencil brush and pop that on the lower lash line. When I was trying to decide on my degree, it was definitely, there was a lot of options because there's a lot of master's social work programs and especially in New York State. Um, but at the end of the day, Brockport offers really cool benefits if you get your undergrad there and then also continue on to get your master's, which I think is really fantastic. I am gonna be able to get my master's degree in a year instead of two years because I already got the undergraduate degree at Brockport, um, which is really cool. So I get to be on an accelerated path, which not only is gonna save me money, it's gonna save me time, which is kind of invaluable to me. I'm gonna go back in with this white shade and we're gonna finish that up by adding the white shade to the inner corner of the lower lash line. So overall, I really have nothing but positive things to say about Brockport. I really accredit them to me finding a love for learning again and being able to be so successful in school, which is not something I ever thought I'd be able to do. They are a direct reason that I'm able to be so successful in school and just have a really positive experience in general. They've made me like fall back in love with the college experience and I actually am eternally grateful to what they've offered me as a student. It's really fantastic. Um, I'm gonna throw on lashes and eyeliner and some lips and then I'll be right back to show you guys the final look for Brockport. So this is the final look. I paired this with a really blinding gold highlighter because I think highlighter is the prettiest thing. And I also used just really basic mascara and a really nude and neutral lip. So that way I could just kind of relax, chill, not have to worry about lipstick smudging. Overall, I think this is a super easy look. I think you could do any type of colors with this and create something really pretty and really fun and definitely stand out and show school spirit. I'm gonna zoom out really quick and we'll do final thoughts on everything and then we'll be done. So that is the final look and the final everything. I hope you guys like this video. Um, I really thank you to Brockport so much for sponsoring this video and reaching out to me. It means so much to me to be able to give back to my school in any way and be able to show support to you guys because I truly, I know it sounds cheesy, I truly mean it when I say that without Brockport I don't really know where I would be professionally or academically. Um, they've improved my life in so many ways and the people there are just so kind and so willing to take the time for each and every student and I just have the utmost respect for them and really, really, really thank them. Um, so yeah, if you guys are going to Brockport Homecoming, let me know and we can meet up, <laughs> talk about makeup, like <laughs> talk about social justice, like let's do it. Um, I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye.